So if you guys did not know, there is a secret aftermarket part out now called the Jack Decimator, which turns the Lockman Shroud SMG into the MP5 SD. So basically, it's a full auto MP5 now that while it seems similar to the Lockman sub, it is actually a ton different. And I'll show you exactly why when it comes down to those statistics. Fire rate and damage are the two big glaring differences. And it's definitely better than the Lockman sub, in my opinion. So for those that are MP5 fans, you're going to want to use this thing. So our first attachment here is the Jack Decimator. I don't exactly remember how to exactly unlock this aftermarket part. I did it just by playing, but it is unlockable now. I believe it's like stun kills or something like that. Basically, as you can see there, it's going to increase your fire rate, bullet velocity, aim, walking speed, flinch resistance. Basically, it just makes it into a full auto weapon. And when it goes from being a burst to a full auto, you are going to lose things like recoil control. So our damage range is right in line there with with the mp5 or lockman shroud but here's where things start to change we have a 47 headshot damage giving it a four shot potential meaning if you just sprinkle a couple of headshots in there one headshot you're gonna have a four shot kill that's the biggest difference between this and the Lockman sub altogether. It is a bit slower in the aim down sight speed category, but that extra damage definitely plays a big factor into making this weapon better than the Lockman sub. For our next attachment, I am using the 40 round mag. Obviously, this is a preference style of attachment. You guys can feel free to use whatever you want here. 50 round drum, 15 round mag if you really want to, or even the stock 30. For an ammunition type, I am going with the 9 mil millimeter sub op. That's going to give you no enemy skulls along with target flinch to your enemies honestly i chose this because there wasn't really anything else i wanted to run i didn't want to run an optic all of the stocks are kind of bad on this weapon this has no cons to running it so there's really no harm for an under barrel i am using the f tech sp10 angle grip that's going to give you horizontal recoil control aiming out of sway and aim walking steadiness definitely a different kind of attachment when it comes down to my channel i don't normally run this to all together in my opinion this weapon has much more horizontal shake than it does vertical the vertical recoil is very easily control controlled so i wanted to target that horizontal here, which is going to give you 12% there to the horizontal, along with 2% to the gun kit control. And the final attachment is the one milliwatt Artemis later laser, which is going to give you aiming stability, AKA visual recoil control. So the barrels in this for this weapon aren't great. Same situation when it comes down to the stock and the optics, I didn't want to run any of it. Uh, so this is one that you can swap to a different laser site altogether if you want. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of those visible lasers. So if you guys want to run like the Kimura RYL33, feel free to do so. But for my particular build, I am using the Artemis. So here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy my entire build down, like I said, turns it into a similar weapon to the Lockman sub, but that headshot damage is no joke, and it's a very viable option here in Modern Warfare 3. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout. If you guys also wanted to copy this down, we're going to be jumping over into two gameplays today. We're going to be featuring the new map Tokyo, along with heading over to Karachi to feature the MP5 SD here in Modern Warfare 3. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So we're over on the new map, Tokyo. I have quite literally never played it. So we're going to see how this goes. I think I'm going to put it on the channel regardless because we have the brand new aftermarket part that turns the Lockman Shroud into the MP5 SD. Like I said, I have no idea how this is going to go. From looking at the mini map when it first came out, I can tell it's a simple three lane map. It's got a good atmosphere. So one thing that people were talking about was how this weapon is very similar to the MP5, or is more or less the same weapon as the MP5, and I can promise you it's not. When you look at the statistics, you can see that this weapon actually has a great headshot damage, making it a faster time to kill than the normal MP5. Uh, that's like the biggest difference. I think I'm in their spawn right now. I'm unsure of that though. So I'm gonna hold off for a second. That is a yes. This is a cool little area right here. Not that I know where I'm at. I don't even know how they got here. So yeah, I mean, the map feels good. I'll say that. But I have no idea what I'm doing. It's kind of got an awkward flow to it. Not as the, like that's a bad thing. It's not super simplistic. I'm just a little confused on how to play it and where I'm supposed to go. And it looks like a lot of people are really confused on where they're supposed to go, actually. And by everyone, I mean me. I can't freaking find anybody. I did see this guy. 
Okay, I'm bored. Oh, I guess I can go around here. That's good to know. Okay, maybe things are gonna get less boring now because I have the advanced UAV. Only time will tell. That guy has no idea where he's going. My team is just sitting on the hill though. Not taken that way. There's a guy right here. I'm gonna go with this. They are playing the objective a little more now. I'm gonna go around the back. So that should have flipped the spawns and I apparently got a DNA bomb. Okay. Okay. Sure. This might be a situation where I do two gameplays. My teammates are frying. I do want to put this on the channel, but at the same time, I mean, I got 35 kills, bro. I want to put this on the channel. I just might add it very heavily and maybe do a second gameplay here. Unless I can somehow turn this into a more positive. The other team is just, this is very unbalanced. I'll say that much. These teams are uh, not very fair. They're trying their best, but sometimes it's trying as an equal good results. It's got good flow. Nothing to complain about on the flow aspect of this map. I just think this was uh, one of those situations where the game didn't balance the teams very well. If I can lock in 50 here, I'll be happy. If I'm lucky, I can get 60 actually. Don't know how lucky I'm going to be, but I am thinking a second game is going to be a must here. Unfortunately. I'm getting all my kills jacked. Holy. All right. One more hill left and it doesn't look like they're going to be close. Yeah, a lot of editing. I'm definitely doing a second game. I just wanted to get Tokyo on the channel here. Holy crap. What a way to end it. 63, I'm gonna definitely jump into a second game here to feature the MP5 SD.
Not often do I do two gameplays, but that one was between all the editing and stuff. It was pretty quick, and I wanted to feature this a little more. So we're over here on Croace, and I'm using another new streak. I believe it's called the Loitering Munition, which it's kind of like the Artillery Barrage, if you guys ever use that, or the Cluster Strike. Uh, but the difference is with this one, The loitering munition, what you can do is you don't have to call it in right away, if that makes sense. The loitering munition has the capability to hover over the target you chose for a little bit of time. Not, so you don't need to like hit it right away. So I want to get that streak for you guys just to feature that, at least in the second gameplay here. Maybe this one's good. I know this one's not manned or whatever, so maybe this one's actually going to be a decent streak to try out. We will have to wait and see, of course. First and foremost, got to catch a W. I knew he was there, too. I knew he was there. Doesn't matter. I choked the streak. We'll end up getting it, I'm sure. Homie is just camped up in there. They should still be there. Oh, they're not. I'm actually one kill off now, so this might end up working out. It did. So we got that one streak that I wanted. Here, let's try it. Actually, I don't think this hill's open, but we'll see. Where are they spawning at? They should be. I was going to do this. So, like, you're going to see it's loitering and. Each one at a time, I can hit here when it's ready and hit square, and it's going to drop. Hard point Secure the area. So that one didn't hit. It's not, I didn't choose the best hill for this. Yeah, I really didn't choose the best hill for this. I've used it once already. I'm gonna have to find a better hill. I'll end up getting it again, I think. All right, so my chopper should theoretically be able to lock me in. My advanced UAV if it gets the kills. There's our advanced. Let's just get aggressive with it. Reload before we push here. I think they're shooting my stuff down. There's a guy here. Alright. They're gonna come through middle, I think. At least that's what the advanced UAV is pointing at. Okay, we got that again. I need them to get a hill to kind of feature that. We're gonna hit this. Loitering munition deployed. Maybe this can come in quick enough that I can actually get a kill with it this time. There we go. So I got one. I at least got a kill with it this time. It's better when you have like open hills and there's a bunch of people playing the objective. Works out pretty well. Got that other advance. Let's get aggressive again. Definitely a little more octane in this gameplay. So we're gonna have a guy here on the back. And this guy thinks he's safe. If I can sneak in here. And a DNA bomb.
All right, that'll do it. Now we can go get the hill. You're such a weenie. His name is Hello Kitty and he's running a riot shield. We already know how I feel about riot shields. It's never going to end well, which means I'm playing the objective the rest of this game. I want nothing to do with it. Hello? Oh, he's right there. All right, let's get on our move to the next objective here. Nice try, Hello Kitty. Get the damn riot shield off your back, weenie. Enemy KIA. It's a big resounding yes. Reloading. Hardpoint relocating. Stand by. This is kind of a wasted hill. I'm gonna say so myself. I got over here and it was just done. Good kill, I guess. Uh, I got a feeling they're going to be over there, team. Oh, they're on both sides, actually. Yeah, they were on both sides. It's a bloodthirsty. Hey, there's another one there. It's right there. And Hello Kitty is gone and out of here. Oh, I can't believe I killed the first guy. I didn't see the second guy. It is what it is. Definitely got to be uh, active on the OBJ here. Flash. Fully functional. That worked out. I need air support now. Next hard point. Stand by. Battle three lines out. Weapons on. Loitering munitions. Okay, well, that's going to be it. I mean, again, not exactly. This was high octane, and then they left the game. Locked in another DNA bomb, though, so not much more I could ask for. 77 kills.